Well, good morning and happy Sunday mornings with Mel. It is the second Sunday of January and I hope you've had a good week. I had an exciting wedding last night. A couple from here in my hometown, um, but they now live in Cleveland, got married yesterday and wow, was it ever a party. It was just absolutely elegant, beautiful black tie. I had to put on a tuxedo which you'll see in some of the pictures. I just think of weddings and new beginnings and just how exciting that is. And it's a new year. We have new beginnings. We have new starts. And hey, it's a new day. I was, as I was preparing for my sermon, I thought about 4-H camp and church camp. And there was a song that we used to sing. And I'm going to sing it for you. And it goes... Rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, children of the Lord. It's actually a song about Noah's Ark. And I think sometimes we go through periods of sadness, depression, anxiety, fatigue, stress, and to think that Noah took all of that criticism as he was building the ark, as Noah gathered all of those animals, um, anticipating a flood that no one believed was going to happen, and it did. And they spent 40 days and 40 nights in that ark, and then probably spent another possibly a year before they ever got out of that ark as the water subsided. I think sometimes we think we're never going to get to the end. We never think that we can endure one more day of confinement, one more day of the stress, the anxieties, the pressures that are on us. But each and every day we have a new start and we need to be thankful and grateful to just be alive. So many people are dealing with sickness and illness and many things that we take for granted with our health. And so go out this week and be a light to people who just need a little encouraging, just, just a smile. You may think you're not the most outgoing person in the world, but just a recognition. I saw someone last night I hadn't seen in probably 15 or more years, almost 20 and he was shocked that I even recognized him. And he looked familiar. And just that acknowledgement means so much to people. I'm going to sing one more song, and it's one of my dad's favorite, and it goes like this. I love to tell the story of unseen things above, of Jesus and his glory of Jesus and his love. I love to tell the story because I know it's true. It satisfies my longing as nothing else can do. I love to tell the story, it will be my theme in glory, to tell the old, old story of Jesus and his love. So go out this week, share the hope that you have, that hope, that peace, that love, that joy that we've been talking about in the last few weeks. If you're looking for a place to worship, 10 o'clock today, St. John's United Church of Christ, where no matter who you are or where you are in life's journey, you are always welcome to come join us. God bless you and have a good week.